This week, we search through old marble to use for our bathroom project. We begin reshaping the evergreens in the garden and finish removing the wallpaper with our new steam machine. And these are the croissants? They are. Wow. We take out an olive bread. Voila. Here he is. You ready to start making a la cook? All right. As a kid, my papa and I had a wonderful little ritual of making a falakuk, which is a soft boiled egg, which he's continued with Sabrina. It's a traditional French breakfast, and it's practiced all over Europe, actually. Ah. All right, three minutes and 40. And now we wait. Let's say, bon appétit, before you take another bite. Before you take it. <laughs> bon appétit! <laughs> bon appétit! Bon appétit! Now that we chose the green tile for the bathrooms, my dad and I were discussing what we can do for accents, and we remembered that we had taken out a bunch of marble from the chateau, uh, from the old bathrooms that were in there that was creating too much weight in the chateau, and we're storing it here in the hangar. So we're gonna see if there's any broken pieces and maybe we'll find something else in here because I haven't been in here in a while. We have this pink one that's broken, this pink one that's broken, all of these little ones. There's a round one already. There's a round <laughs> one. I mean, maybe we could use that yeah. as the seating I shelf. Think so. And it looks like it's uh, an inch thick instead of three quarter inch like normally in the US and here it's it's definitely thicker. So. Yeah, I mean, that's part of the reason the bathrooms were so heavy. We have the green marble that went with the red, and we have the pink marble that went with gray. The kind of marbling that's happening here would look great with the green. Mm -hmm. uh, if it's just a pink piece, you might not like it when it's set against the green. Oh, and these are full bathtubs? They're full bathtubs, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, but they have a little bit. So these are all the little... But they're all broke. It's a good thing I've been practicing puzzles with Sabrina. <laughs> so we don't want to use any of these red pieces because they can still be put together and keep the original bath intact. See, this one, they were... I'm like, why couldn't they do this with the red one? <laughs> yes. It's like perfectly intact, which is amazing. I think it's something called Venusian or Venus. Uh, it's from Italy. Italy? Okay. It's not a toilet, right? No, that's a bidet. <laughs> <laughs> it looks, yeah, that's what it looks like. If I could, I would just use everything here for the bathroom upstairs, but the weight is so intense. Like, there's no way you can use this on a yeah. first floor. Not unless, like, everything was reinforced and we just don't have a budget for that right now. I mean... Oh, oh that is a workbench. Where did you find that? Because here? it's... You <laughs> I see, found you, it in here. You can... I mean, that might not be a bad idea to clean it all up and... Call Benoit, see what he thinks about it. See how he can fix it up. Yeah. We found some lovely pieces of marble, including this already rounded pink a slab and it is basically exactly the idea that we had for a bench and it's the perfect size and then we found some other little pieces that are broken we're gonna see if we can incorporate them and then we have this beautiful peach color as well we have a bunch of broken pieces of this so next up we have to get the electrician in and the plumber and in the meantime we get to play with all these broken pieces and see if we can get these tones to work with the design So we're pretty excited. We just got this other new saw and it's huge. <laughs> we ordered this saw a little while ago so that we can trim up these giant evergreens in the garden. 
and uh, a bunch of other stuff on the property. We've never used one of these before, but they're like a huge jousting rod with a chainsaw on the end, so it's really cool. We are not jousting with this, Ian. No. Okay, well, we might joust with it at some point in time. It's unclear at this point, but we've been excited to get this uh, new tool. And it's surprisingly heavier and bigger than we expected it to be. Yeah. Um, Can you still see the top of it? No, they can't. I didn't think they so. shouldn't be able to. <laughs> and last week we had a couple of friends of ours offer to help work here in the garden and specifically trying to clean off this upper part of the terrace. We didn't explain to them that we were actually waiting for this saw because we wanted to cut these trees in a very specific way to help them grow out and shape them a little bit. Um, and they, they had good intentions. They were just trying to clean up the space. Overall, it's probably going to be okay because the trees will get more sunlight and they'll be able to bush out more and then it'll give us more control in how we shape them in the future. But they did time. a great job on everything else. They, yeah. they cleaned up this part here and it's like, it now we fantastic. can actually see the, the dirt. The only difficult part now is that we have to try and kind of balance out all the trees. So I'm just gonna keep expanding on the garden terrace, which we now have. You look very professional though. Do I? You look like... How about now? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you look like 12% professional. 12% professional. <laughs> Before you get covered in ectoplasm, you're going to want to take off the hood on the saw blade. You got it. Okay, there's a slimer at the top of the tree. What's a slimer? <laughs> you're not a ghostbuster. I got you. You got me? Don't push me, whatever you do. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you didn't, you didn't go through anything. <laughs> I think you intimidated the tree, that's for sure. Okay, pause. That okay. works. That was really good, actually. Yeah. So what you want to do is you want to cut the lowest branch first, because it'll rise up. So see the, the lowest branch right here? Uh -huh. Follow it up. And then do like about a foot away from where it connects. I don't understand. Oh my God, that was so close to us. Really? Oh, we're good. Yeah, I got goggles. <laughs> They're just on my hat. I, <laughs> now you're ready. Now I can't see anything. <laughs> There's all these water spots <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> I'm gonna use you these. You have to wipe them off. Can you see anything? No, no, no. You just, you just, you know, you cut by Braille. No, Ian, that's <laughs> not how we do things. That's pretty okay. good. Yeah, that's good. I think that's all we need to cut there. Yeah. Fall on my camera. There you go. Okay, it was a little close to the camera. <laughs> Yeah. We've got a solid terrace. We have a solid terrace. We could have a picnic like there. Here, over there. there. Yeah. Yeah. So many picnic possibilities now. Changes, changes are happening. Yep. I got the gas. I got the wheel. Did you say full speed? So last week we started removing the wallpaper. 
We weren't having a lot of success. It took us a whole day to do one relatively small wall. And so we decided to listen to some of the comments that we got on YouTube and invest in a little vapor machine. So far, it still seems to be a two-part job. Maybe it just got hotter. I don't know if we waited for the full 15 minutes. We're not impatient, just we're not patient. <laughs> <laughs> so last week when we started this project, I tried setting up this little time-lapse camera thinking that you know, we'd be able to do a whole wall in about 30 minutes. And then when I watch the time lapse, you see the camera just pan right past us as we stay in the same place. <laughs> Not this time though. So much more boring though. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely more boring. I like action. But I mean, it's nice that I we can don't... put some like action, some 80s action music to this montage. Yeah. Not my cup of tea. Which part? The butt in the face <laughs> thing. You got me? I got you. Okay. <laughs> you got me, that was good, you, you got me. Well, we just finished this room. It took at least half the time and we double did the work. double the work. And yeah. now we just have the nursery to finish and we will be set and ready for the electrician to come and to get started on painting and we still have to decide the color of your eyes. Oh gosh, okay, yeah. Tonight, tomorrow. Whenever you wanna choose. Okay. <laughs> right now. Right now, Figure right it out. now, do it now. <laughs> Black or yellow, which color? No! <laughs> <laughs> I want my office to feel like they're in space. <laughs> Just pitch black. <laughs> like wow. Have falling. <laughs> yeah, you've been using that steamer too much. <laughs> if you're gonna remove wallpaper, use a steamer and thank you everybody who commented use a steamer because uh maybe that was the right choice so uh yeah yeah next room should be real quick yep thank you guys <laughs> this week we were treated to a special evening at our neighbor's house to see the young and talented Raphael play violin again Can you see both ends? I don't think they can. Here, let me, let me, hold on, let me check the camera. Okay, I got this side. I got it, kind of. Keep going, you got it. Keep going. Just keep going. I don't, I don't know if I can do this job. <laughs> I do not feel secure. All right, hold on. Oh wait, I can just zoom out. That's And for any Are you serious? <laughs>